But new tonight at 6, we're learning more about the man accused of the deadly hijacking of a Gwinnett County Transit bus. Joseph Greer is facing several charges, including murder and 11 accounts of kidnapping. The GBI says that Greer boarded a Gwinnett County Transit bus in downtown Atlanta. The chaotic ride lasted for miles through Fulton, DeKalb, and Gwinnett counties. And it finally, finally came to an end near Hugh Howell Road in Stone Mountain. The GBI says that Greer started arguing with a passenger, Ernest Byrd Jr. And investigators say that fight escalated. Byrd pulled out a gun, which Greer took from him and began threatening passengers with it. At some point, Byrd was shot in the leg and later died at the hospital. The GBI says it took a Georgia State Patrol trooper firing his rifle into the engine compartment of the bus to finally stop it. And tonight, Greer is in the Fulton County Jail. However, now the DA, they said they say that they cannot prosecute Greer in this case. In a letter obtained by 11 Alive News, the office says there is a conflict of interest because one of their employees was a victim on that bus. We got live team coverage of this harrowing incident. Our very own Molly Oak by chance interviewed Greer at the Peachtree Center Mall where that shooting took place. But first, we're going to get straight out to Grace King. Now, Grace, you spoke with a woman who says that she is the daughter of that heroic bus driver, right? Right. Law enforcement have not yet released the identity of that driver, but Karen Young re or Karen Antoine reached out to us saying her dad, Ernst Young, was behind the wheel of that chaotic chase that ended here or near here on Hugh Howell Road. Now take a look at this video from our chopper yesterday. You can see the bus making the turn onto this portion of Hugh Howell Road in DeKalb County and hitting a handful of cars as they continued evading law enforcement. Karen credits her dad's 30 years of commercial driving experience with his ability to make those maneuvers at gunpoint with as little damage as possible. Now, she says it was traumatizing for everyone involved, but that her dad did his best to keep everyone safe. He tried to be as calm as possible, even reasoning like with the shooter, like, you know, if you shoot me, then nobody else will be able to, you know, drive this bus. So you need me to be here, but also making sure that everybody is fine. And I honestly think that all the passengers who were on the bus worked together very well to comply with the shooter. And Karen says her dad got home from the hospital around 10 p.m. last night and is now recovering at home. She hopes this incident will promote new safety measures for bus drivers like her dad if and when he decides to go back to work. Live in Stone Mountain, Grace King, 11 Alive News. All right, Grace.